Welcome, folks, to more Tex Murphy. Oh, yeah. Out in the cabin in the woods, hanging out with the little fishies. So I figured out how to get rid of the error message. The error does not indicate error. All you have to do is turn off the MIDI portion up here. And I don't think we're missing any audio. Basically, if you turn the MIDI on, you'll get the drivers there. If you mute it, it'll get rid of that error. But we still have movie volume, sound effects. Uh, I don't think the music is in this version anyways. Uh, I haven't really heard any. A bottle of salsa alegre, a tortilla chip's best friend. There's the FMV music, which I'm pretty sure will still be there. Non kosher but. dills, my favorites. They're bottled with pork rinds. This LP is so fucking jitterbugged at this point. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Let's just get her done. Hmm. Bunch of little fishies, and what's this? A small metal box. I guess I should check it out. Uh-oh. Those aren't fishies, they're piranhas. Looks like I'll have to find an industrial strength fishing pole. Hmm. A bunch of little fishies and... What's this? A small metal box. I guess I should check it out. Uh-oh. Got me a nail. Notice the error is gone. Almost worth it not having to click on it. Pick up the log there. A ranch. These seem pretty self explanatory. A ranch and some rope. A cigarette from across the table with this baby. That's what I'm talking about. Some rope, a monkey wrench, a giant turd, I mean a log, and a bent nail. Fantastical. screw down pretty tight. I need to find some sort of unscrewer thing. Let's try our, our wrench. There we go. Now we have some kind of metal coil dealy. Tex is tall. Look at him. Hitting his head on shit. I'll need to find a little something before I can open this.
The hell? Nice! Her name is Sally. Blow it up, Tex. Blow it up and then fuck the shit out of it. Kind of looks like, uh, like Sylvia. Dolls before. Hey, I have never been that lonely. But at the time, I had no one else to turn to. <laughs> awesome. Gotta love the blow up dolls. Gotcha, bitch! Level four clearance. Groovy. All right, well, now it's not here, so... I think we pretty much got what we came for. Let's go back to the office. Oh, shit! Hello! Well, I wasn't expecting any company, but as long as you're here... What the hell's going on here? Whoa! Listen, don't shoot the messenger, okay? I came to warn you. Somebody wants you dead. Tell me something I don't know. Well, as you may or may not know, a lot of people have been dying lately of self-inflicted and or accidental causes. And you and I just might be next in line. Anything else? All right. I'm working with a Capricorn op named Wanda Peck. So who the hell are you? And what's your relationship to Wanda Peck? Well... There's a rat's nest at Law and Order Party. For different reasons, we both want to find it. You don't say. Well, that makes three of us. You really think you're safe here? It's as good a place as any. It doesn't really matter anyway. They're gonna find me sooner or later. Actually, my own death is not uh, exactly high on my wish list of things I'd like to happen to me. But I'll tell you one thing. They know I'm not going to give up without a fight. Well, tell me something, if you don't mind. But how does someone go from being the Law and Order Party candidate to the top of their things to kill list? A candidate is uh, sugar coating on a pill. The party sets an agenda, and all I do is try to make it a little easier for the public to swallow. What's Law and Order trying to force feed us? What'd you say your name was? Murphy. Tex Murphy. Well, you gotta believe what I'm gonna do. Love how the dialogue is totally not in Why sync. Not? I'm pretty gullible. I don't think they spent as much time on this Lord third Lord iteration as they did with the first two. Has this plan. Maybe the first four They're for that matter. put implants into everybody. It's going to allow them to identify, track, and eventually control the whole population. They really believe they could get away with that? They know it. Listen, maybe you can Ruh -ruh. answer something that's really bothering me. If law and order is so powerful, why are they going around killing everybody? Call. Greg Call. They're trying to kill anyone who has ties to him. He used to work for Gideon Enterprises. Well, how about I go talk to Frank Shimming? Shimming? No, he's squarely in the camp of law and order. Well, maybe he's behind this whole thing. I mean, Shimming could be... Shimming could be the Overlord. You know about Overlord, too? Well, that's all we're getting out of him.
Stay down, Tex! Stay the fuck down! They blew up the pickles! Nobody blows up my jar of fucking pickles! At this point, I started to smell gas. Let me guess, you grabbed a couple of chili dogs for the flight up. Not that kind. One of the bullets had hit the stove. Now the whole cabin was being flooded with gas. Mother shit burger. Who are those guys? I'll be a hit squad. Looks like they accomplished their task. Now it took a couple of slugs before he hit the floor. Not didn't put up much of a fight. What's this? Something fell out of his pocket when Got a motherfucking key, bitch. Got a motherfucking key, bitch. Alright, so you don't want to stand up here or you're gonna get uh, blown to smithereens. Looks a lot more lifelike with clothes on. Hmm. I gotta figure out a way to get out of here. Quickly. Hiding in the bedroom will only delay the inevitable. <laughs> what the fuck? It's just a rubber doll. Those bitches got smoked. That was the most realistic explosion I've ever seen. Uh, well, I had a, a few singed hairs, but uh, I was okay. Little did I know, things were about to really heat up. Ooh, it sounds like Sylvia's about to make another appearance. That's a good guess. After I got out of Knott's Inferno, I decided to fly back to Linsky's warehouse, check up on my client. But she wasn't there. Have I told you this part of the story before? Oh, no. It's just that, well, I know how women work. Well, that makes one of us anyway. So she's not at the warehouse. I fly over to her apartment. She's not there either. So I get in my speeder. I fly back to my office. I walk in the door. And she's waiting for you. There she is, butt fucking Nick. Well, close. She's got on a full nice. suit. To tell you the truth, I did not even notice. Oh, of course not. So then she says, Hello, handsome. Well, needless to say, I was very, very upset with her. I was about to gag her with my dick. That you would stay at the warehouse. I know. 
But I started worrying something would happen to you. I don't feel very comfortable about being alone right now. Sylvia, this thing is dangerous, and I don't think you realize how dangerous it is. Well, tell me. I'm paying your tab, after all. Yeah, sure, bring business into this. Well, that's what it is, isn't it? Am I not just a client? There were plenty before me, and there will be plenty after me. That's what I tell myself. What do you mean by that? You know what I mean by that. Tell me. There's this thing called the rules of a PI. And the number one rule is don't fall for a client. That wouldn't happen, would it? Yeah, well, I'm holding you personally responsible for making me even think twice about it. I feel so guilty. Yeah, well, you should. So tell me, are there any rules about kissing a client? That falls squarely under rule one. The rule that you're thinking twice about. So break a rule. How many rules are there? 37 so far. So 36 out of 37, that's not so bad. And I won't tell a soul. Sounds like you were just about ready to go into the deep fryer. No. It's more like a quick sear, followed by a slow simmer. Listen, Sylvia, it has been an incredibly long day, and my resistance is just about zero. So if you will take ten paces back, I promise to quit smelling so good. I promise you that when this is over, look into the possibility. We got a deal. Okay, I'll be good. But I'll hold you to that promise. I've got a cot in the other room. You take that and I'll sleep here. Sweet dreams. That's not gonna be hard. As soon as I lose some weight, I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't think I need to be reminded anymore. No, I don't think I do. Good. Because I'm very selfish, you know? That's one of the things that really attracts me to you. Boy, that makes me happy to hear it. So now that you've described to me just about every temptation a man can stand, what happens next? Nothing happened? Nothing happened, okay? <laughs> Actually, I flew Sylvia back to the warehouse. Good. I thought you'd like that part. I went back to the office and I had a call. <laughs> Find the chess move? I did. It was in the design of Val Davis's pass card. Look, I'm ready to meet with you. Just tell me when and where. It isn't safe yet, but I have another lead for you. Find out about Greg Call. Who's Greg Call? He was the lead programmer on the STG project. He knew about Overlord. Well, how do I find him? Greg Call. Overlord. <laughs> Either one. Call is dead. Oh, well, that's gonna make him easy to find. Call suspected that someone on the inside was selling out the STG project. For that reason, he relocated to a secret base of operation. If you find that, all your questions will be answered. Any hints on how I'm supposed to do that? The police were warned that Call might turn up dead. They may have found something that could lead you to where he was working. Oh, I gotta go. So Greg Call was the head of the SDG project? Yeah, but he was the dead head. So now you went back to see Detective Clements, right? 
Good guess. You seem to think I'm some sort of street informant. I'm gonna start charging you for these consultations. You know, you've been so very good to me. I think I'm gonna do you a favor. I know where Big Jim's slate is. If you're on the level, I'll trade you any information you want. Done. Slade's at the Big Surf Lodge, number six. It's off the Pacific Coast Highway, just north of Big Sur. Boom shaka laka, baby. Never heard of it. We're going down the line of Liz Shiawat. I haven't got any information on that. Batting zero for two. Never heard of him. Fuck my life. I don't have a lot of time to waste, Murphy. You haven't heard of Samuel Kill Jones? What about Samuel L. Jackson? What about Greg Call? How do you find out about these people? I'm a fucking genius. He died a few days ago. We would have chalked it up to natural causes. An aneurysm, maybe. Except we got an anonymous tip through 911 the day before he died. Tips just said that if he died, we should perform an autopsy. He's a hitman for hire, and he's on Interpol's ten most wanted. If you're mixed up with him, I'd make sure your affairs are in order. I haven't got any information on that. I didn't say chest moves. I said, I like the way your chest moves. Seems like a decent guy for a politician. I'll probably vote for him. I know he's a billionaire and runs Gideon Enterprises. That's about it. That's about tit what? Huh? I've heard of it, but I don't have any privileged information about it. Boo. What about Jorge? Never heard of him. Fuck. I figured since you were both, you know, spickish. What about Poison Pawn? I don't have a lot of time to waste, Murphy. God damn, do you know anything? What about Linsky? Close. I haven't got any information Fuck on that. Fucking wasting my time with this slut hooker bitch. Never heard of it. You haven't heard of STG, but I bet you've heard of STDs. Never heard of him. <sighs> Forward slash SMH. I don't have a lot of time to waste, Murphy. Hashtag fuck this bitch. She was a professor at USF. Died in a speeder wreck a couple of weeks ago. That's where I, I went guess to college. You tell me it wasn't USF. an accident, right? You've got quite an imagination. Real talk. Back to Texas office. Robert Knott's top-level ID badge. This might give me access to someplace special in Law & Order Party Headquarters. Wait a fucking minute. What the f Son of a bitch. Hey, Lieutenant. How's it going? Bust any big-time criminals lately? We checked out the Big Surf Lodge. So? It was vacant. I swear to you, he was there. Tell you what. 
When you track him down, let me know. Until then, get the hell out of my office and stay out! She's not too happy. Bitch. All right, let's try to go back to Eve's office one more time. See if she's calmed down a little bit. Tits McGee. Whoa, lazy bitch! Getting ready for your hunter safety course there, Lieutenant. I thought I told you to stay the hell out of my office. <sighs> Please, Eve. I'm walking in here on my hands and knees. I've just about cracked this case, but I need your help to finish it. All right, but this is it. No more chances. It only turned up one unusual thing. A small capsule planted under the skin. Inside was a plastic tag with markings on it. We couldn't make heads or tails of it. Maybe you should give it a try. Give it up, slut. This time of day, the Law and Order Party headquarters will be crawling with people. I'd better wait until later. All right, we can't solve that puzzle yet. So we'll save it for later. We need more information on Greg Call. One of the lead researchers at STG. Back to the Fresno office. Looks like there were a few packing boxes left over from the move. Curious. This UPEX package wasn't here before. Well, it is now. Appears to be a braille alphabet. Murphy has been introduced to the overseer. Call used two codes braille alphabet every third or fourth word within a message, usually starting with the name or the first word. N E X U S Nexus? What does that stand for? I'm not sure it stood for anything. But I surmised that it had to do with Greg Call's secret base of operations. Now I had to ask around to see if anyone knew about it. You'll never guess who did.
Time to go pay Mr. Gideon a visit. You caught me at the last moment, Mr. Murphy. I was preparing to go abroad. That sounds good. You know, I've heard Amsterdam is great. Everything you've heard is true. I highly recommend it. Now, I think I can spare you a few moments before I leave. Your investigation has certainly got you into some obscure channels. Years ago, well after the government signed the UNGP Treaty, Gideon Enterprises bought the rights to utilize dozens of abandoned government installations. Nexus was the code name for an underground military facility located in Washington State near Mount Shasta. I don't believe we ever used the location. Well, this photo concerns me, but I'd, uh, I prefer not to discuss it if you don't mind. I know nothing about that. I wish I could be of more assistance. I wish you could too, you fucking crip. <laughs> ah, now there's a name I haven't heard in ages. I hired Sam to work at Gideon some 15 years ago, and after a decade of fruitful labors, we, we parted amicably. And then, sadly, we lost touch. Gregory was my right-hand man when I founded Gideon Enterprises, a, a brilliant programmer. Until recently, he headed a division of the corporation. I heard that Shimming fired him, undoubtedly removing the last traces of my influence. I'm unfamiliar with the name. Well, these chess moves are curious and uh, vaguely familiar. Or perhaps they were part of some fabled match I may have read about. I, I can't say for certain. We're done here. All right, let's head to Val Davis's lab, baby nuts. Actually, the Nexus lab sounds even better. Nexus base took a long time to find, and I won't bore you with the details, but the installation looked totally derelict from the outside. Once I found a way inside, I entered an underground laboratory that was brand new, state-of-the-art. Was there anyone there? No, but as soon as I stepped inside, I did hear a voice. Stand by for system scan. men that jumped you had put some sort of implant into your head. Exactly. And it seemed like I was in the best possible place to do something to remove it. I started looking around with just that in mind. Just that in mind? No pun intended, I'm sure. Alright folks, that wraps it up for this episode. Stay tuned for more Tex Murphy soon to come.